Elias, ladies and gentlemen, did anyone here, Elias, defend secret second marriages? No. No, he didn't, did he? But do you want to? Yeah, go on. Right? Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, he's talking about the reference in the Quran, the shirk in the Quran. The, the, the point that we're talking about in the Quran, let me ask you this question. In Islam, can someone be forced into a marriage against their will? No, no. Do they have to consent? They have to consent Do they have to make a choice? Yeah, yeah. Right. And is it a free choice? Yeah. yeah. Did you all hear that? Yeah. The reference that I quoted, ladies and gentlemen, is in Surah 33 of the Quran, where the matter that has been decided is the matter of marriage. So Allah has decided that Muhammad will marry his first cousin, the wife of his adopted son. Oh, and according to him, Muhammad could not be compelled to make this decision and must make it freely. So in other words, yeah. when it says it is not fitting for a believer, man or woman, when a matter has been decided by Allah and his messenger, that it is actually the messenger also that is making the decision. And so Allah and Muhammad are partners in the decision. In agreement. In agreement. Um, that's Muhammad's wife was uh, ordained by Allah, his prophet's wife is no normal wife. He's a prophet's wife, so it can be arranged by God. Right, oh. but must Muhammad agree to the marriage? Yes, he agreed. To. He agreed. Did he make a choice? Yeah, yeah. Is it his decision? But it's God's decision. Is it also Muhammad's decision? Yeah, yes, yes. There you go, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Thank yeah, you. Yeah. That's shirk. Yeah. What is shirk? Polytheism. Shirk is to I'm ascribe partners to Allah, is it not? Yeah, yeah. Right. So if Allah makes a choice and a partner in that choice is someone else, is that shirk? Depends. Maybe the messenger's decision is God's decision as well, but now it's a message of God. Yes, but if Muhammad is also making the decision, yeah. then they're partners in a decision, are they not? No, it's not because. How are they not partners? Muhammad's messenger of God, his decision, God's decision. Right. But if he is making a decision that is not compelled, because you believe Muhammad had to choose freely, agreed? Yeah, yeah. So if he's not, if he's not, if he's not compelled, then he's choosing freely. If he's choosing freely, then he is a partner in the decision. Okay. Well, Do you get it? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys get it? Yeah. 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 So yes. if yeah. me and you, for instance, right, agree to start a business together, yeah, yeah. right? And you're the billionaire and I'm just the front man, right? You're the guy funding it all and doing it all, but I'm the guy that fronts it all and, and presents it all. Yeah, yeah. Right? Are we business partners in that relationship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. We are. Right? Now, all I did there, ladies and gentlemen, is replace the term marriage with business and replace billionaire with Allah and replace frontman with Muhammad. But the logic was exactly the same. And when I used that analogy, he recognized that we were partners. So how was Muhammad not a partner? If you and Muhammad and I was like your like my employee, then my partner. I'm sorry? If you and Muhammad and I was like your are like my employee, then my partner. You're like my employee. So your decision is my decision. Right. But you make a free choice to enter into that arrangement, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Right. So Muhammad is a making a. Uh, God gave him the free choice. It's a, it's entering into uh, an employment is a, a partnership. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Since employment is partnership, even your analogy proves that Muhammad is a partner with Allah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there you go. And is having a partner with Allah shirk? Not in this case. Because Not in this case. <laughs> right. So it's shirk in every other case, but not this one. <laughs>